We're going to start, Senator Budimer, and you have uh, four minutes. If with your permission, could I ask that one minute be given to Senator Hearn? Yeah. Yeah. Is that agreed? Yeah, agree. yeah. Grimaga, thank you. I'm sorry, Senator. I just want to welcome the Minister to the House as well. Thank yeah. you very much, Minister. Grimaga. Senator Budimer. Thank you, Cahirlik and Minister. Uh, Minister, as you know, and we've had a, a good discussion, credit unions are uh, a bedrock of many local communities. Uh, members save, members borrow. They are the People's Bank in many cases. And I'm a former supervisor of my own credit union movement in Bishopstown. Um, and at this time of the year, Minister, we have in a lot of credit unions are AGM, and I know we've had legislation to change that to a virtual AGM, which we all welcome. But many people rely on the dividend uh, for payment. And I know that in, in some cases that the money isn't, isn't huge, it's a small amount. The number of, 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 of outcomes in terms of dividend is, is little, but it's, it's significant. Uh, and each share equals a dividend, as you know. Uh, and the central bank minister, I believe, from my uh, ongoing representation from people, has call for a prudent approach to be taken uh, and the paying of the dividend of the member's rebate ha has been uh, put into abeyance because of a letter from the central bank in September who wrote to all credit unions outlining uh, the uncertainties around Brexit, around COVID, and I'm quoting uh, the CNE distribution by way of dividend or loan interest rebate uh, in credit unions 2020 uh, final accounts. Um, so the AGMs haven't been allowed. Uh, we're now virtual. The paying of dividends is important. As I said, small amounts of money, 200, 300, maybe 100 euro. Uh, and the paying of the dividend, in many cases, is used this time of the year. And it avoids people going to money lenders. And, and, and we know the consequence of that. Uh, could I ask that the minister with the central bank uh, and the legal credit unions would work to ensure that members can receive dividends? Uh, and I'll hand over to Senator Hearn. Thank you, Senator Hearn. Uh, thanks very much, Chair. And can I thank uh, Senator Bromer for the opportunity to speak? Yeah, no, look, I, th I think it's, it's, it's very upsetting that the central bank sent out a letter to, um, to credit unions uh, not to pay out their dividend. And I really encourage the minister to, to support the, the credit unions that they should be sending out their, their dividend to, to the people. Like in, in Clamel, in the credit union, Clamel did a fantastic year. They had 3.66 million of a surplus, a dividend of 1.7 million given out to their members of about, it's approximately about two or 300 euros to, the, to, to each member in Clamel. And that money is spent locally, it's used locally, um, and credit unions would be only there and exist because of the support of their members in the community. And I think it's really important uh, and sacrosanct that the, the dividend that's given out is given out to the members, especially uh, uh, this year more than most. And I'd really urge the minister if he could support that. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Senator. <coughs> Minister? I want to thank Senator Buttermer and Senator Ahern for raising this issue. And the government recognises the important role that credit unions play in Irish society as a volunteer cooperative and in, in the area of financial uh, institutions. In the current environment, credit unions are appropriately focusing on the health and well-being of their volunteers and staff and, on con and continuing to serve the needs of their members. Credit unions are important at both local and national level, given the community presence they have right across the country. In accordance with the Credit Union Act, credit unions need the approval of their members at an AGM to pay dividends. In the rules set by members at local level, most credit unions cannot pay a loan interest rebate without having first paid a dividend. And I stress these are rules brought in by members in individual credit unions. There's no government rule to say um, that that should be the case, but some credit unions have actually in instituted such a rule themselves at local level. So due to COVID-19 pandemic payment, um, credit unions have not been able to hold physical AGMs as is normal, and virtual AGMs were not allowed for under the Credit Union Act 1997. It was for this reason the government progressed priority legislation to finance Miscellaneous Provisions Bill 2020 to allow for virtual AGMs amongst other matters. When I say virtual AGMs, it all depends on the COVID restrictions and when AGMs come to be held early in the new year, you could have a physical meeting combined with a virtual meeting. It could be a blended meeting. And when I say a virtual meeting, it might be somebody on an iPhone or a laptop, or it might be somebody phoning in, depending on the mechanisms the individual credit union puts in place. It doesn't have to be virtually um, 
um, held, uh, can be partly held by virtual means and partly held in physical means, depending on the COVID restriction. So the bill, as the senators are aware, completed all stages of the Shannon on the 30th of November and has just completed all stages in the Dáil on the 10th of December, just last Friday. The bill is currently with the President for signing. One signed by the President and enacted, the legislation will take immediate effect and Credit Union will be able to convene an AGM to seek whatever approval may be required from members in respect of paying dividends and a loan interest rebate. <clears throat> In addition to the removal of the legislative barrier to holding an AGM, credit union boards will also have to determine whether their financial situation warrants a distribution. The senators will be aware of the financial challenges facing the sector in recent years, which has been exacerbated by the pandemic. On the 4th of September, the credit uh, <coughs> unions received a letter from the central bank outlining that the central bank expects them to take a prudent approach to their reserve management, given the risk and uncertainty regarding the economic outlook, and that it expects priority to be given to the maintain, maintenance of building up reserves over the payment of any distribution to members. People will know the central bank is independent of the Department of Finance, the Minister of Finance and the government. They are independent regulators, so I'm not in a position to say to the central bank what precisely they should do in that matter. The central bank stated that it did not expect that proposed dis distributions, dividends or loan interest rebate would feature for the 2020 financial year end, which was the end of September. However, where a credit union may be considering a potential for a proposed distribution, they are expected to contact the central bank at an early stage to clearly outline the rationale for proposing this course of action. The case mentioned in relation to Clonmel, uh, uh, the Senator has mentioned there was a surplus of 3.7 million last year. Not all credit unions actually made a surplus last year. Some credit unions might have made a small um, surplus, but relative to their assets wouldn't be considered um, very substantial. And the, uh, Clonmel is proposing a dividend of 1.7. So really, the central bank has issued the letter across the board to all credit unions. And if a credit union does want to consider that, they'll have to take it up in a case-by-case -case basis directly with the central bank. Thank you very much, Minister. Senator Buttermer in reply, one minute. Yeah, very much. Thank you, Chairman. Okay, let's just to thank the Minister, accept uh, his, his reply. Uh, I do hope, Minister, the credit union movement, which is very supportive of local communities, immersed in this community, uh, continues to sponsor local organisations and there is a hardship welfare fund available. And I do hope, Minister, the credit union movement will not move away from that ethos and will not be allowed to move away by government and the central bank. It is about accessibility, it is about community, uh, and I take your final point about surpluses, but Gormagut. Uh, 